Okay, we're almost there. I have a background image, I have a shape, I have some different colors. I have this image in my head for this invite that I'm going to quickly put together with Adobe Comp all in one sitting here on my iPad. Then from there I'm going to send it off to Illustrator. So because of that, I'm, Adobe Comp is a, a bunch of lessons all into itself. So I'm going to just kind of show you what can be done and use some of the tools there and show you what's going on. So here we go. Opening up Adobe Comp. This is both for Android and for Apple devices. And you can see here what I've already created. And that's where I'm going to get. But I've done all of that within Comp itself. So let me show you how. First of all, I'm going to start a format. These are going to be little half sheet, letter sheet size invites slash flyers that can be handed out, pinned up on some different bulletin boards and things like that. So I do not have an actual format that's going to work for me. There are a lot here, but what I need is something that's going to be a half letter sheet. So I'm going to select the new format here, and I'm going to call this half letter sheet. Clever. Okay, so I know that I want the width of this to be 396 points or pixels by 612. I'm going to save that format. And you see it's already created here. So now I'll open that up and that'll be my comp uh, area that I'll, I'll have to work with. Now I know I want to use that image that I had created on my device. And it's this cool little paint can image that I had here. It strains to my area, which is super nice because I'm just using my finger here. That's pretty good for what I'm wanting. I think that's perfect. Okay, so now I want to create a frame around this here, and uh, this is how I'm going to do it. Use finger gestures, or hand gestures. It's about the size that I want. change the color, automatically pulling up to my most recent Creative Cloud library, which is Flower here. And I'm going to use actually from this new palette here, a color that I, I really like. It's a little strong though, so I'm going to hit the opacity down a little bit. That's all right. So originally I was thinking that this would be the background and the photograph could fit on top of this frame area. So let's let's work that in. You know what, I really want this to fit in nicely in that area so I can adjust it there. And it's not affecting the shape. Um, it's not distorting my image underneath. Perfect. Now, this color shape needs to be in the back. So here we'll go to our layers. There's only one other item there, so it's either on front or on the bottom. Looking pretty good. All right, so I want to add a stroke around my image here. Super easy to do. I'm going to select this here. I can adjust my opacity of my image as well, which I like that. Let's bring that back just a smidge. So I want this to be real faint. This whole thing is about layers and different forms of art. This gallery is and, and different ways that we get there. So I really like this idea of uh, one form of artwork being overlaid uh, upon the other. Here I can I can work on the way I crop this image as well. Not that I need it so much here, but I did want to adjust it just slightly. Click to the side, tap to the side that is. Okay. I'm going to draw a new Oops put my undo button up here. Oh, I'm going to do another shape. Uh, that doesn't really matter, but I want to bring the opacity down. I'm going to give it a frame, though. Make that frame visible. And I want to 
choose from my flower thing here. Something nice and dark. Let's try this red one. Save that. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting a color that I'm thinking I may want to use for my text. And although I don't see anything happening, if I go back to the picker, you can see that that's changed there. Selecting the plus button here is going to save that to my Creative Cloud Library as an asset. And there we go, I have some different swatches that I can use. I want to also do the same with this yellow. I think I might use that a little bit later on. Make that a swatch as well. Go back to flower here, we can see that's all there. But for this, for the stroke, let's, I think I want this red, more red color. Um, I'll go ahead and save that too, just so I have it. And let's choose that color. So you can see here that I have the colors chosen. I can choose from different styles. I'm gonna want a sharp edge for this, but I could do a beveled edge. But I wanna increase this font up. Yeah, just about so. Looking good. Okay, so now what I wanna do is uh, make use of that shape we made way back at the beginning. You can use this, if you're familiar with shapes at all, uh, from uh, the previous app, all of this is pretty much the same. I'm gonna grab that smoother image uh, that we worked with. I wanna change that color to this cool red. And uh, let's start messing with that shape itself. I really like that, I think that's good. Yeah. Here lies my dilemma of what I would like to do. You know, that's something I think I could probably fix later on uh, in Illustrator. So I'll go ahead and leave that there for now and uh, see if I can make it work a little bit better. But that's just kind of a visual reference for me. So let's turn that opacity down. This is a comp after all, right? Okay. So now I got that. Uh, last thing I really need is some text. So using my hand gestures here. Perfect. Get my text in. Double click on that. Bad. A little overpowering for me. I'll bring it down a little bit more. Now by selecting that and then with two fingers rotating it, I can rotate this guy here. Maybe just something like that. Okay. Now obviously there's lots of things I could do here. Uh, the cool thing about this layering effect is that I could actually start putting this back behind there. Wherever I do end up setting it, um, the cool thing is is that this is just a comp and I'm going to be sending it to Adobe Illustrator. And then once it's in Illustrator, that's where I can better refine things. I'm really not liking how um, this is going on here. and uh, But that's alright, I can fix that later on. So here we go. I'm happy with this the way it is. I can then choose to send this. I can put it in Behance, InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator, 
Um, I could also share similar to the other uh, apps. Um, but what I'm looking to do is I'm going to send this directly to, to Illustrator. And the connection of Adobe ID, my Adobe ID, will then allow for this to uh, auto-magically appear on my Adobe Illustrator um, desktop. So let's go check that out.